Oh, what was that? I'm breaking stuff. Update for you guys. This is the third attempt at a prep for a gear. I was very tired last night and I tried to get this uh, printing finished because it takes like six hours and I put the 120 teeth instead of 112. And then I tried it again with 112 teeth and realized I needed 113 because I'm looking at 112 of the other sides. You know how that works. Anyway, the belt doesn't fit. So um, I fully printed this one and partially printed this one and then tested the uh, the teeth here on the edge. And it's literally, I think it's one all because I did inside versus outside, you know. One less tooth versus one less valley. Anyway, got the, an old hub that fits these old bearings. Um, that's going to be the top. So I got the bottom, I'm engineering the top. Uh, I got this, I am going to use this. Hi Malachi, Malachi's been doing sticker books, you're doing awesome. Um, what else? So I gathered up uh, this piece of aluminum I found on the side of the road a long time ago. I uh, got some uh, shafts, some bearings, some angle brackets. I got a clutch here I probably won't use. I got some other random parts I found in my junk. Some other random parts. Got some slides for setting the uh, the, uh, the stock on the end. Um, and then this all is going to be yes. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, I just want to give you an update. That's where I'm at. So uh, let's keep going. Sunday afternoon. Oh, I gotta eat. I won't eat that right now. I'll be chewing the whole time. I'll eat that in a second. I got multiple of these printed. I always had a bunch of problems. I finally figured it out. I made the teeth different profile. You know, we'll get it eventually. Uh, I did uh, get this ring and the front plate and the bearing that I printed on there. Good job, me. Some scrap parts for other stuff. Um, just farted. I need to look for other things. I know that's disgusting, but deal with it. Okay. Yes, printing. Good. That's the second ring for the top. Um, I'm going to make them the same so I can switch out the ring if I wanted to. This place is a disaster. I got all the metal, scrap, junk, things, stuff, this, that. It's all laying here. I just wanted to kind of show you what it looked like laying out. Yes, yeah, so I got a bunch of holes plasma and drilled a bunch of hole patterns. I'm going to start building the frame, mounting it together, and then I'll assemble things over here. Um, I even uh, machined. So I cut these out with the laser, and then I used those. I put them on the lathe, and I actually cut those. Um, into these templates which will then hold the uh, actual props so you can see that ring is right there anyway all right we'll see in a little bit a lot to do I think we'll get it Might be a little messy, but MDF machines so well. Only slightly messy. Alright, update. 
I actually got this whole thing assembled. Uh, I mean, kind of. We're not there yet. I just got this uh, slide or uh, lead screw mounted. Got all this stuff mounted earlier. Got this working. I got to put a key and uh, stuff in there. But yeah, this one pulley didn't print out very well. So I may have to switch these because um, there's like one section here the teeth don't quite line up right. I don't know. I just don't understand. I think it's my printer. But it's okay. But yes, and I made a heck of a mess earlier with the wood on the lathe, but it worked really well. This place still looks even worse probably than it was. But I'm printing the other little prop end holder. So that's the shaft prop holder. As you can tell, my motivation sounds a little low with my voice because I'm getting a little tired. I'm working two days uh, straight at this almost. Anyway, here's the uh, prop end holder, so that's going to hold the uh, this end of the prop. Um, this is all really nice, really rigid, everything's good. I just used crap laying around that I had, but this is a little, little flimsy here, so I'll have to put some structure. I don't know, I'll figure something out. I got to put a structure over here, I got to put a structure over here to hold both of these in place. I was thinking about using some other stuff or maybe I'll just use a piece of 8020 on there to keep the frame straight anyway there's your update uh, update is very late <clears throat> but the manekakutsuba what mechanics are working look finger cut proof belt ah. that one on the other hand might get you Anyway, I was going to put like a pull clutch on here, so when you pull it tight, it grips, but uh, I almost can't stop it. Look at it trying to pull that out. It's pretty wild, actually. So, it is running. It's slow. I got it on uh, 12, 24, 36 volt. That motor's rated for 120 volt, so that will definitely be uh, a lot faster. But you can see this guy moving. Got all this stuff mounted on here. Anyway, that's where we're at. See you tomorrow.